A walk between continents in Turkey. A gathering of columnists was welcomed by Turkish Airlines to find out about the aircraft and investigate Istanbul. Here is the report. A cool winter breeze welcomed me as I was venturing out of Atatürk International Airport in Istanbul, Turkey. I heard the best time to investigate the city is in the late spring, when beautiful tulips are in full blossom and journey transports on the 31-kilometer-long Bosphorus Strait, which interfaces the Black Sea with the Sea of Marmara while part Istanbul into two landmasses, Asia and Europe, work going all out. However, I was energized, not on the grounds that I at long last escaped the air terminal to investigate the city, yet in addition since Istanbul has entranced me for some time. Istanbul, as the seat of three domains, the Byzantine, the Roman and the Ottoman realms, has been included in numerous movies, from James Bond's Skyfall to Taken 2. Its widely acclaimed recorded locales, from the Hagia Sophia and the Sultan Ahmet Mosque, otherwise called the Blue Mosque, to the Top Copy Palace, are highlighted in numerous books, including Dan Brown's blockbuster Inferno. Two suspension spans associate the Asian and European sides. The European side is the city's busiest and it is the place some of Istanbul's mark spots are found, while the Asian side feels substantially more casual, with less inns and vacation spots. Consistently, I cross two land masses to work, said our visit control Haken Bekaura. Hints of the past are all over the place yet the verifiably rich city keeps on developing and change into a cosmopolitan city that fills in as a mixture of various people groups and societies. The city's biggest mosque, the Suleimani I Mosque, named after Suleiman the Magnificent, was swarmed with voyagers inside and outside its tremendous complex. Bekaura said the mosque was worked in the 16th century by awesome Ottoman architect Mimersinan, subsequently its notoriety for being a prime case of Ottoman Islamic engineering. The mosque complex is exceptionally immense and it incorporates a doctor's facility, kitchen, library, madrasa and hammam, Turkish bath, he said. Those needing to catch an all-encompassing perspective of the city ought to go to the Galata Tower, one of the tallest, 63 meters high, and most established structures in Istanbul, which is situated close to the Taksim Square where an exemplary red cable car still wanders the prevalent shopping locale. In the first place worked as a component of a safeguard divider in the 14th century, the pinnacle was re-established and opened to general society in 1967. Presently, there's a cafeteria over the pinnacle, clarified Turkish Airlines territorial business supervisor Nevenikas Vlat. Traveler spots are by all account not the only should visit puts in Istanbul. Seeing the mysterious custom of the Medlevi Order, whose spinning move has been announced on UNESCO Heritage of Humanity, stepped up the experience. For 30 minutes, the gathering of people was enthralled by liquid spinning developments and another worldly cadence arranged at the Hadjip Shah Cultural Center, a building that was changed from an extensive 15th century hammam. Istanbul's bazaars, which stay well known notwithstanding the nearness of present-day shopping centers over the city, are immaculate not exclusively to search for anything from rugs and earthenware production to adornments, however it is likewise an awesome place to encounter the city and its kin. The Grand Bazaar is one of the most established and biggest canvassed showcases on the planet and it gets greater and bigger consistently crossing a zone of more than 31,000 square meters with its 3,000 or more shops, 60 or more back streets and in addition bistros and eateries. At first look, the bazaar feels somewhat overpowering as it takes after a mammoth maze that might be somewhat confounded to explore for a first-time guest, particularly as it is gone by somewhere in the range of 400,000 individuals consistently. 
be that as it may, the shops inside are generally assembled by the merchandise they offer and set apart with numbers, and English is broadly talked in the event that you have to request headings. Keep in mind the door you entered in on the off chance that you need to backpedal a similar way you arrived, exhorted Balat. Another mainstream bazaar is the Egyptian bazaar, otherwise called the Spice Bazaar, which has a less number of shops however is no less charming, with astonishing odors originating from the showed flavors, herbs, restorative plants, dried organic products, desserts and teas. The proprietor of Sikata, one of the shops at the Spice Bazaar, welcomed us in to have tea. This tea is uncommonly made by us, accessible just in our shop, he said while serving warm, natural eucalyptus mint lemon tea in a tulip molded glass. He at that point immediately demonstrated make and find photographs of him with top pioneers, including Singapore's late previous head administrator Lee Kuan Yew, that he set high on the divider. Indonesian famous people additionally shop in my place, he said before indicating another piece of the divider, which included photographs of him posturing with, among others, MC and Rebekti. As I tasted my tea and tasted its reviving flavor while taking in its minty smell, I chose to bring the tea back home as a sweet indication of my outing to Istanbul, 